Okay, we'll be talking about East Germany in 1989. And in 1989, East Germany had been under the rule of Honecker, of hardline communists, since the year of 1971. And although East Germany was one of the relatively better off countries in the Soviet bloc in terms of living standards, the regime was unpopular and repressive. Okay, um, previously East Germans uh, traveled to West Germany via Hungary and their border with Austria. However, this, this passage was blocked off by the government and they could only travel and the only leaving the only remaining country that they could travel to as Czechoslovakia. Um, in Czechoslovakia, they occupied West German facilities, the most, um, the most notable being the Prague Embassy, where thousands of people camped out for August to November, hoping to be able to move, uh, go to West Germany. Um, however, that when that passage was stopped, shut off, West, uh, East Germans were completely confined within East Germany and could not leave that area and completely isolated. Due to this, they started Monday demonstrations, which were peaceful protests that happened every Monday evening after work. Um, in October, on October 2nd, the military was issued a command that was that they had to shoot to kill. There were also civil rights protest groups, such as the New Forum, who were opposed to the regime, and they pro protested peacefully, largely through street demonstrations. And an important one was on the 9th of October, attended by 100,000 people. It remained peaceful, but there was a threat of violence um, throughout the protest. But East German leaders were insecure regarding whether or not to allow military force because Gorbachev had previously refused to give Soviet army intervention. So in the late 1980s, Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev introduced Glasnost and Perestroika, reforms to liberalize communism. Hanukkah, the East German government, refused to implement similar reforms in East Germany with Hanukkah reportedly telling Gorbachev, we have done our perestroika, we have nothing to restructure. This could have contributed to the peaceful revolutions that began to occur later on. Gorbachev obviously grew to dislike Hanukkah and by 1988 was lumping Hanukkah along with Bulgaria's, Czechoslovakia's and Romania's leaders as a gang of four, a group of inflexible hardliners unwilling to make necessary reforms. <clears throat> Nonetheless, Hanukkah appeared to be on solid footing. However, trouble appeared on the horizon in August 1989 when Hungary dismantled its section of the Iron Curtain and opened its borders with Austria. Several East Germans fled to Hungary in hopes of going to West Germany by way of Austria. Uh, as the reform movement spread through, throughout Central and Eastern Europe, mass demonstrations against East German government erupted, most prominently in Leipzig, the first of several demonstrations which took place on a Monday night across the country. A bloodbath was only averted when the local party officials themselves ordered the troops to pull back in following weeks. Hanukkah had faced a torrent of criticism and escaped the policy for her comrades the impulse they needed to replace him, with Gorbachev's tactic approval on 18th of October 89, they voted out, out Hanukkah and replaced him with Egon Friends. So Hanukkah was replaced, and um, Although this was greatly desired, the new appointment actually spurred protesters and the number of protesters on the streets increased because they sort of saw, that, saw it as that if Hanukkah could be removed, then why not the whole regime itself? And um, the government, in an attempt to retain credibility, eased restrictions on travel. And part of this was um, um, they reopened the Czech border. And um, then there was a steady stream of travel through Czechoslovakia <coughs> into West Germany without, without issue because Czechoslovakia had no such um, problems with that. And because <laughs> it was also decided that the border to West Germany would be, um, the Berlin Wall would be open to allow East Germans into West Germany. Um, however, however, the Politburo spokesman who was given the announcement to be read out on the 9th of October at a press conference hadn't actually been briefed and the, he read out the note and it wasn't quite clear and he said that this easing of travel restrictions would be affected immediately and, he, and this caused lots of East Germans to go to the wall where guards basically had to open the barriers and citizens eventually began to start knocking bits off the wall and 
checkpoints all along the wall that can't be open. On the um, the official dismantling of the wall actually occurred in June 1990, and free elections were held in Germany in March 1990. Um, the Alliance for Germany party won by a landslide, and this was a party who was pro-unification, and East Ge and West Germany were eventually united in October 1990. <laughs>